Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is another video in the series for dummies on how to uh, you know go around Windows 8 learn about its basics and uh, learn all that you need to enjoy and have an easier way of using your computer with Windows 8.1 today we're talking about tile screen how to rearrange it how to add tiles or remove tiles from that start screen. Now the start screen, almost every computer that I've seen that comes out of the box is cluttered with lots and lots of tiles. And basically on that start screen we can go from left to right or right to left and check all the tiles. A typical Windows 8.1 machine as many 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 tiles that you'll never use so one of the first things you should actually learn how to do is how to remove tiles that you don't want and um, maybe add tiles that you want to use that aren't on that start screen and how to just rearrange these tiles around the screen so first of all when you right click on a tile there's an option. Now two ways that this menu will show up. You'll either have a contextual menu like you just see here or you will have a uh, little bar at the bottom where you see these options like pin to start, unpin to start, uh, uninstall and stuff like that. So for example here I have my tiles and I've rearranged some of them so you see that I have for example internet and everything that's from the web but it's still a little mixed up you know I have like TuneIn and uh, National Film Board Police Radio Scanner there are stuff that are nice uh, and you know okay but others shouldn't be here for example video streaming has video streaming tiles but uh, the National Film Board is a tile that should be in that category so how do you do it you just click on it and you move the tiles and you see that when you move tiles there are these little gray sections so let's just go and cross here and you will see that here is a gray bar between these groups of tiles so that bar is actually a bar to separate different categories so that's how you will actually put in different categories the tiles if you want to remove a tile from that screen, for example, I never use the Vivo tile here. I will right click and you have unpin from start, either from the context contextual menu that you have here or you might see a bar at the bottom that has the same options as unpin from start. Unpin from start only means that the tile is removed from that start screen, but it is not uninstalled. If you want to uninstall a program completely, you'll have to click uninstall to remove it from your computer. But for now, if you don't know what a tile is about, but you know that you never use it, just unpin from start and it will be removed from your start screen. So what I would suggest the first thing you do when you get that new computer is to unpin everything that you don't find useful. And once you do that, rearrange them in categories. So take the tiles and move them around in the screen and make sure that you have different categories about um, you know streaming stuff and uh, internet stuff uh, or maybe some new styles or all sorts of programs you might want to have when you are on a category if you right click on these styles you have the uninstall or the unpin that's one thing but if you go at the top and click you have the uh, tiles are named so for example here I have let's say video streaming category so if you want to uh, actually do a new category you will right click on the top of that row and you see name groups and if you click name groups you see that these little gray areas appear at the top and you can name these groups for example here Office 2010 group because I have office tiles and I have the file explorer and all. 
So that's a way you can actually do it if you are looking for a way to go through the groups. Now, in that start screen, you also have a way of uh, going to see all the programs that you have installed on your computer. Because one of the things about the tiles is that not everything is shown on your start screen. This is only part of the different programs. So if you want to see everything, look at your start screen. On the bottom left, you have a little arrow. And that little arrow will actually show you every app, every program installed on your computer. So take a peek at that. If you install new programs, it will probably appear here. Uh, you can show these programs by date installed. I prefer that because it's easier to uh, manage. But you can have them by name. You can have them by most used. And you can have them by categories. So depending on how you want to view your tiles, just select the way you want to see them. And if you see something that's here and that you want to have on the star screen and it's not there, what you do is simply right click and you have the option to pin to start. If you click pin to start, it always shows up at the extreme right. So if you don't see it, don't forget that every pin tile is always at the extreme right. And from there, you can actually take it and move it along to an area where you want to actually put it into view on your start screen. So that's a great way to manage these tiles. Because the start screen on almost every computer that I've seen is very cluttered, I really, really suggest that you uninstall anything you don't need and install uh, and pin to the, not uninstall, but unpin everything you don't need and pin to the screen only what you use so that you don't have a cluttered screen. So for example, I will remove, um, I will unpin AccuWeather, I will unpin Filmon, I don't use that. Um, I can go into, uh, okay, free calculator, I don't use that, unpin, and so on. And make sure that you have only the ones that you like on that screen. Another very interesting thing about these tiles is that they are customizable. You can change the size of any tile to fit whatever size you'd like to have it. So for example, if I right click on TuneIn, there's something called resize. Either here by contextual menu or at the bottom of your screen, you will see there's a resize possibility. I will put it into small. Why? because this is not something I want to have such a big tile with. Police radio scanner, I will also resize to small and shove it right here. So you see they take less space. So you can put really small tiles to take less space. And so here I'll resize this one to small, which is eBay. And you see that it takes less space in my screen because all the tiles are now into one category instead of being laid out on the screen. So you can change those sizes. But there's one thing that's very important. Your screen is separated between live tiles and regular tiles that are basically kind of static. The live tiles are the ones that you see on my screen that change all the time. For example, the weather tile the new styles often are live tiles because they will show information that will change. So these styles you want to keep big because if you put too small of a tile, for example, if I take the news tile right here and resize it to uh, medium, you see that now it only has text that is actually going on. It doesn't have the pictures that it had before. So it's not as beautiful as a tile, and it's more difficult to actually read. So some tiles you'll want to have uh, to have large or wide, and others you'll want to have uh, much smaller when there's not much information going through it. So you got to check that out and make sure that you rearrange the tiles and the size that you like. For example, here this weather tile, I like it really big because it tells me the temperature, what's uh, the weather like now, 
um, and what's coming later today and tomorrow. So that I like to have that information visible on the screen. So I, I took the really big tile, the biggest tile possible here for this one. So I have that information. So uh, play around with your tiles and uh, unpin anything you don't want. Pin anything that you want to uh, that you want to use. Um, I personally made myself on the left side um, a few tiles that for me were like the most important, the ones that I use all the time. I've made them uh, on my screen right there at the left because when I actually uh, turn on the computer and get to the start screen, I have the tiles I use the most that are right here, which is the desktop tile, WordPad, Microsoft Word. I could add to that uh, Google Chrome because it's, it is my uh, browser, for example, and I use it really a lot. So uh, that's pretty much how you'll go through these tiles and uh, make sure that you know every tile is at the size that you want it to be. Uh, make sure you unpin anything you don't use so that that screen looks you know much less cluttered and easier to use and uh, add any tiles that you will use a lot to make sure that it's easy access when you're on your start screen. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If uh, you have any comments, questions, maybe you have features of Windows 8 you'd like us to talk about. If you're new to Windows 8, we have lots of videos online that can help you learn how to use to the max Windows 8 and enjoy that operating system. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again on the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.